Garfield Effect Galaxy Adventure by Shakespeare Hemingway Chapter 1 Commander Shepard was talking to elusive man in the Normandy spaceship about important missions. Commander Shepard, you need to fight the Collectors and save humanity, said the elusive man with conversion. I will do my mission, but it is difficult and powerful, said Commander Shepard with hesitation. Yes, you do not have the manliness to do this mission alone, so I have defrosted the ultimate man, Garfield, from cryogenic slumber to lead you to victory, said the elusive man with pride as he pointed to a mysterious figure. Garfield entered the room with a manly strut, ready to take on supernovas. The only thing I hate more than racists is collectors. I am going to slam them into outer hemispheres, said Garfield, head held high and fist pumped with justice. I must first examine the crew to see if we are ready for space battle, said Garfield with knowledge. Garfield marched down the plank of the ship, examining his crew with intentions. Greetings, Garfield. I am Miranda. I am your first officer. I am here to help you fight collectors, said Miranda, checking out Garfield muscles. Hey there, sweet bumps. I would like to get into your collectors, said Garfield with flirting. Not now, Garfield. We have important mission ahead, said Miranda, face blushing with rainbow colors. Okay, sexy face, will you at least make me nice lasagna meal? Said Garfield with hunger in his heart. Even though I am woman, I do not cook. You will have to go to mess hall, said Miranda with regretfulness. Garfield stom red into mess hall in search of lasagna nutrition. Chef, I will have lasagna sandwich save the ice, ordered Garfield to the mess sergeant. I am sorry, Garfield. Lasagna is where galactic delicacy. It is only on the Citadel, said the mess sergeant with deep sorrow. What is this madness? bombasted Garfield with appalling shock. Galaxy is at stake, and there is not even lasagna for nutrition? Head to Citadel at once, ordered Garfield with righteousness. The Normandy sped to the Citadel at highway speeds. <laughs> When it approached the Citadel, the brakes were slammed so it could park. Garfield then entered the Citadel with Miranda to search for lasagna. The Citadel Council might know where there is lasagna, said Miranda to Garfield in a serious tone. Then we will go there and demand satisfaction, said Garfield with urgency. Garfield and Miranda hurried to the Citadel Council and bust in, interrupting a meeting. This is a galactic emergency. Me and my crew need lasagna delivered at faster than light speeds to us, declared Garfield with invigoration. I am sorry, Garfield. Blue Sun's mercenaries stole all the lasagna, said the council with worry. I will break their bones with fists of fury, raged Garfield to the, <laughs> raged Garfield to the cosmos. They are outside preparing to take the lasagna to headquarters. Maybe you can catch them, said the councilman, truthfully. On hearing this, Garfield stormed out with purpose and headed to the docks like a cat greased with lightning. Look, Garfield, they are taking the lasagna, cried out Miranda in helplessness. Do not cry, woman. I will get the lasagna, declared Garfield with manly determination. Garfield approached the menacing mercenaries and glared at them with eyes of retribution. Halt, villains! Surrender your lasagna or face doom! roared Garfield with fiery rage. Ha <laughs> ha, Garfield! The collectors hired us to steal this lasagna! Your stomach will be empty forever! said the Blue Sun's leader. Fool! I will pry that lasagna from your cold, dead fingers! exclaimed Garfield with booming voice as he launched into furious attack. Get him and defend lasagna with mind, body, and stomach, said Blue Sun's leader to his henchmen. The henchmen fired at Garfield with raging guns, but Garfield did a cartwheel through them, splitting them in two. 
Another henchman tried to fire Garfield, but Garfield backflipped in back of him and broke his neck with velocity. It is just you and me, Blue Sun's leader, said Garfield to the Blue Sun's leader with intimidation. Please show me mercy, Garfield. I only stole lasagna for money, begged the Blue Sun's leader. I am the garbage man, and it is garbage day, said Garfield with slick style as he grabbed the Blue Sun's leader and threw him in a garbage compactor. With all Blue Suns gone, Garfield took the lasagna back with him to the Normandy and was called by the elusive man. Good work, Garfield. Now the crew has lasagna to fuel war efforts against collectors, said the elusive man with admiration of Garfield. All in day's work, said Garfield casually as he walked out. As Garfield walked down the hallway, he noticed Miranda approaching him. Garfield, you fought with sexiness today. I would like to see you in your quarters later tonight, said Miranda dreamily. Sure thing, honey sacks. I will look forward to our meeting, Garfield said with romance. Later that night in the captain's cabin, Garfield put his best love songs from the 70s, 80s, and 90s CD in his CD player to put the mood on romance. Miranda walked in with sexiness and romance on her mind. Garfield, you are like man I never met before. You make me wild like a hog on the hunt, yet I do not know if it is right, said Miranda with concern. What is the matter, Miss Miranda? Are you scared? asked Garfield, sassily. I am worried you are too much man for me to handle, said Miranda with honesty. Do not worry, it will be gentle, like chef putting lasagna in the oven, God. said Garfield reassuredly. Then Garfield, let us make loving until the sun comes up, said Miranda with lust in her eyes and face. With these words, Garfield and Miranda embraced and made loving all night long with energy of a thousand galaxies. To be continued.